You listen to nothing off the table. The podcast with no subjects too taboo to discuss. If you don't like it, why don't you take care of somewhere else? Yeah, I know they all look alike. No, they don't. And the earth is... Flat. Flat. The earth is flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the earth is flat and stationary. Everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing, which is it is not a globe. So you're saying that when, when far-right groups come here and throw demonstrations and have their rallies, they don't necessarily have to throw the first punch in order for you to, to react violently. The purpose of these groups in coming to Portland is to attack people. God hates America. Vile land of the sodomite damned. The most ungrateful and the most arrogant anti-God nation that ever existed. Enter the Phelps clan and other followers of the Westboro Baptist Church in Topeka, Kansas, who've become infamous for picketing the funerals of gay people with signs that carry slogans like, God hates facts. No, there's nothing funnier than listening to the intro and hearing Vinny over there going. <laughs> I was getting a little excited because I, I, I was so excited to refer to our guest as Squizply. But then I realized that I realized only we could see that. It, it's Dave on the show. Well, uh, since you brought it up, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's everybody welcome Dave to the show. Dave Bridget, how are you, buddy? What's happening? Oh, you know. Good to see you guys. Thanks for having me on. Yeah. Um, well, you can slip it. Let's see if you th- let's see if you yeah. thank us at the end of the yeah. show. We, 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 <laughs> we, we, we were getting yeah. we were getting pretty low on the guest list, well, so don't, don't feel so too eager, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was either you or the ice cream truck guy. Yeah, we've had Alma yeah. in the last three weeks. It's kind of getting old, so we can Alma. No, save that. Um, so, Dave, you you've got a wealth of experience. If anybody can look behind you right there, you can see the baseball bats, the gloves on the wall. You are not a player, but you play an even more important role. You are one of them guys that we yell at to say he's blind and you suck. Wait, I mean, you are an official of the game. Is this your cell phone? You've already missed three calls. Who that? that yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's fucked up. I could, tell his, I could tell his wealth of experience just by how fucking old he looks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> talking about there, 28. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So give us a little bit of a, a quick down and dirty bio about your, your baseball history. Um, what level you what level you umpire at? Played, played baseball in high school growing up. Uh, went to college on an athletic training scholarship. Um, tape ankles, yeah. Um, and uh, was an athletic trainer for the baseball team at Middle Tennessee State. Go Blue Raiders. Um, and they needed somebody to umpire the inter squad games. So I put my hat on backwards. I put on catcher's gear. And I got back behind the plate and started calling balls and strikes and – just fell in love with it. Uh, went to umpire school, Harry Wendell Stats, professional umpire school, five weeks, Daytona Beach, Florida. Yeah, no, really, huh? Well, we yeah. know it's not Joey Hold on, Dave. Yeah. Oh, Hold on, Dave. We, Call it. Go ahead. You're interrupting the story. I mean, uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> Wait, who am I talking to? Uh, I don't know. Who do you want to talk to? Uh, is this Doc, Vinny, or... It's all the above. We can yeah, all hear all you. Above. All the above. It's a consortium. It's a fancy What's that? for you. I just fucked you up with that one, didn't I? Hey! <laughs> it's a bunch of guys hanging around. That's what I was saying. What was this? Oh, okay. Okay. I want to know, are we going to talk about politics? I don't know. It's your fucking show. Are we going to talk about politics? Are we going to talk about how bad Joe Biden is? Yeah, once again, uh, I guess so. It's on your agenda, so we'll fucking do it, eh? Hey, what are we in Canada now? Hey, you got hey, some against we Canadian? Got a mouse in the pocket? Who is this? <laughs> who, who is this? <laughs> I don't know. It's just some crazy lady calling. That's all I know. 
Well, no, I just wanted to ask about how you guys feel about what happened in Canada with the truckers <laughs> and how you feel about what might happen with truckers in America and where you think we're going with Justin Trudeau being, I don't know, um, fascist? That's a great segue from started uh, calling balls and strikes at a college game. That's fucking fantastic. I love it. Um, I thank you. We need you on the show more often, apparently. <laughs> well, there's been um, a void. Uh, you, you don't talk crazy. politics. No, no, we, oh, we, we, we did, talk politics. We, we talk politics. Uh, what's your name, ma'am? Um, it's Liz, actually. Oh, oh. Jesus! Oh. Liz, the, the lady who sent well, me hugs. I was hugs. complaining about oh, my boss, okay, but okay. I'm not sure I can do that legally right now. So I'm complaining about alcohol. Hey, I got a question. How fucking lit are you? Right got, now? How many? What time this morning did you start the bath salts? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't start drinking until 7:20 p.m. Yesterday. In what time zone? <laughs> 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 right, because we've all I'm said that, sorry. oh, it's fucking I, I, I 5 o'clock somewhere. I'm kind of playing with you guys. I'm sorry. It's but a... no, really, I mean, I'm just been, I've been very upset about what's going on with Canada. And, um... You know what's better than being upset about... Do you know what's better than being upset about politics? Not giving a shit about politics? Living your fucking life and not paying attention to your goddamn <laughs> TV. <laughs> I don't have a life, guys. You're well, my life, you well, know. Okay, but we don't. So, and, you know, and, and, and you notice that we don't talk a lot of politics here because it's it's old hat. It's like the, oh. it's just it is what it, you can Same bitch about it all you want, but bitching really. about it only oh. pisses you off and brings you down and steals your happiness. Go out and you know kiss kiss a puppy, uh, kick a baby, do something. No, I, I have kittens. I have two kittens. I just got drown a them. kitten. Drown a kitten. That always cheered me up. Have you ever vacuum sealed a cat? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Have you ever seen that documentary? Don't fuck with cats on Netflix. Seriously, watch that shit. It's no, crazy. No. Um. So I ruined the groove because I talked politics, and you were probably going to have a whole different show. I apologize. We, we, we don't actually have a groove. Just, we don't, yeah. that, this, that would imply that that would imply planning, yeah. right? And right. one of us have to be named Stella. Saved, Someone's you know, got to be named two, Stella. Three, one, six, five, one, two. So I did. I, it does say that. Holy yeah, shit! You know, you're, 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 you are absolutely free to Liz, call. Liz, I the want show. you to call. You're a friend of mine. You don't even know me, but you're my friend already. I want you to call every week. We've recently had a big void and craziness on the show, and we need to <laughs> fill that void. And we'd like you to, we'd like you to be the one to do so. Like, I, I'll produce a, an intro for it. it. Here comes drunk Liz, or whatever we want to call it. Whatever, <laughs> whatever we want to call it, we'll produce an we intro love, for. It. We love Liz in our community. She's. Everybody's always happy to see Liz. Vinny, would you say there's a, usually, a she's good, usually got alcohol with her <laughs> in the crazy department? What's that? What's that? Would you say there's a dead space to fill in the crazy department? Uh, yeah, I would, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm just yeah. busting your soon? balls. I'm just, I, I just I'm an asshole. I just gave her props for calling in and, and taking all this abuse. Hell yeah. Uh, she, no, knew, Liz she knew Liz what she a good was in sport. for. She's awesome. She yeah. knew what she was in for. She'll stand up and... You pretty much, you know what you're getting into if you're calling this show. That means you you listened maybe a, a minute or two in the past. Okay. Doreen so says she, watching Dave girl. process she, she this did. madness is more magnificent. Okay. <laughs> I, I I might actually get the opportunity to hang out with Liz this Friday. Oh yeah. Yeah. God bless Bring you. Bring your final. Little community yeah, event. It's bring your own beer, <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you get to your show. I apologize for interrupting it. You're not. Uh, no, no, no. Highly no, no, apologize. And no you are welcome to call back anytime. Oh, thank Even you. If... Okay, I um. Whatever call back in ten minutes when we get to hey, we get uh, bored with Dave. Are you feeling better about yourself yeah. now? Yeah, oh, yeah. Liz, call back in ten minutes when we get bored with Dave again. Bye bye. Oh, if that wasn't a fucking setup right there. 
Oh, that was great. Anyway, that was so great. there I was. I had catcher's gear on, my hat on. But oh, wait, that's your story, Dave. Sorry. It is. I, I did. I had uh, my hat on backwards, put on catcher's gear, went back and called balls and strikes, fell in love with it. I uh, went to umpire school in 1994, Daytona Beach, Florida, five weeks of instruction from one of the legendary umpires in Major League Baseball, Harry Wendelstadt and his staff. There's like three uh, people in the world that know that dude's name. You're one of them. I am. <laughs> hey, the raid. Uh, started, uh, started umpiring uh, high school ball after that for a couple of years and then got into the college ranks. I think my first college game was in 1997. Uh, where I threw my first coach out in my very first game. Nice. So I wasn't playing around. And then um, have just kind of moved my way up. I've um, worked the Division Two National Championship a couple of different times. Nice. I worked the 2005 World Cup of Baseball. Y'all probably didn't even know they had that. But I spent a World uh, Cup for every sport. three weeks in Holland. Drinking free beer and uh, be honest with me. Be honest eggs. with me. Were you hitting the fucking weed? It's legal over no. there. You didn't. You know what? No I, weed, no hookers. Come on, you no weed, no hookers. Dave, you're a fucking prude. You're a prude, <laughs> no dude. Weed, no you're a fucking. I gotta prude. be honest with you. I have never smoked it. Oh but my god. There is a funny god. story behind that. Um, I've never smoked. I've never taken a drug in my life. I'll be honest purpose. with you. I, but I'll be honest I'll with you. I knew that before we ever talked. As soon as you, <laughs> I'm like, this dude's never smoked me in his life. <laughs> never. <laughs> However, there was a time when I was at a poker game, and I um, was eating a buddy of mine's gummy bears. Oh God, I'm so, I'm so glad you said gummy bears. <laughs> 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 And about 45 minutes later, I'm getting the, the, my eyes are burning, my throat's clenching up. I had just eaten some peanuts and I thought I was having a peanut allergy. And he goes, Did you eat some of those gummy bears? And I went, Well, yeah. You idiot, you're high now. Oh, okay. So you, so you, I had never, never knew what it felt like. And that, but, but that is totally different. I'm not going to get into the weed talk, but that is totally different than smoking it. But that's, that's awesome that you made it through the gummies because gummies are awesome. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the gummies. I had no idea what I did. But you felt good. You felt magical for like four hours, right? I lost a lot of damn money that night. I can tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, totally by mistake. But it wasn't on weed and hookers, that's for sure. Fun story. <laughs> that's right. Fun story. That um, is pretty funny. Now I work in uh, in Conference USA, the Big South Conference, and the ACC. Uh, I opened up my season last week at University of North Carolina, the Tar Heels. Um, and I'm headed to Virginia Tech this weekend. Conference USA. So, do you do any? Is that like a? Now I'm getting feedback. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. Wow, bad. <laughs> it's fucking me up. <laughs> Anyways, um, Conference USA. That's like, like Marquette. Butler. Is that? No, no. It's um, it is, well. It? It's changing now with all the realignment. Um, let's see. Louisiana Tech. Uh, I don't know. UAB. Middle Tennessee, Western Kentucky. I'm going to um, Florida Atlantic this year, Boca Raton. Uh, went to Florida International last year. I think San Antonio's in that conference. I, I'm not sure. I just go where they tell me to go in baseball. Gotcha. That's cool. So, yeah. Have you ever... Uh... The minor league at all? Wow, that's wicked. I have, actually. Um, as a fill-in umpire, somebody gets hurt, and they call a local guy up, and and they come in. I've, I've worked the plate at AA. Uh, I've had some exhibition games with the AAA squad. So, yeah, occasionally. Yep. Fun. As, as cool as that is, it's pretty cool. Yeah. I'd, I'd like you to talk about your involvement Talk about number one, what Wounded Warrior Umpire Association is, and and your involvement in it, because you are a board member, correct? 
Yes, I am. There you go. I can't speak the shit, but you can. I am the secretary of the Wounded Warrior Umpire Academy. Um, it is an organization. It's a but veteran. It looks great in a skirt. <laughs> we have one of those on our board too that looks great in a skirt. You it's a, uh, old man. I'm sorry. Go on, secretary. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, this is going to be an interesting night. Yeah, it is. I, uh, that gummy kicked in 17 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it sure did. Woo! So I, I serve on the board as the secretary. Um, we're a veteran service organization that uses baseball as an excuse to help veterans. Um, we were founded about eight years ago, nine years ago. Uh, we hold camps every year and, and bring veterans in for 10 days and teach them the art of umpiring. Um, I'm sure you guys know uh, the veteran suicide rate of one to 22 a day and and that's just too much so what our hopes are is that we're gonna teach them a skill that they can go back to their their local towns and uh progress and we've we've had pretty good success you know every year somebody comes out of that camp and says you know this camp saved my life um so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to to meet these guys like doc uh, Doc came last year. Um, Did I? <laughs> and hasn't since. <laughs> and hasn't hasn't come since. Uh, but we uh, we have a good time out there, and, and we we help. Hopefully, our goal is to to help veterans um, when they're. I don't know even what the right term is. It discharged, medically discharged, um, separated. They get their, what is it, a DD-214? Yes, sir. And, and a lot of times folks have some troubles with that. So we're there to, to just lend a hand, uh, create a network for folks to, uh, to reach out to when, when things aren't going well. So, You know, Dave, I, I talk about uh, the association quite a bit on the show. Um, well, it, I, it, I swear. it's almost just a commercial, this entire show. Pretty much, commercial yeah. For, yeah. 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 By the way, uh, registrations open up February 15th. If anybody's out there and would like to sign up, go to woundedwarrior.org, <laughs> woundedwarriorua.org, and fill out an application and register to come to camp June 10th through the 20th in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. That's right. You got a, hey, Dave, do you got a phone number you want to throw out there for that? Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> um, no, just go to the website. Okay, he, he shit the bed. All right, just go to the website, people. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> First one to sign up gets a free Toyota. It's too late. I, you know, I talked to Greg, and on the first day, our president, on the first day, I don't know if you knew know this, Doc, but uh, the first day, fifteen folks, fifteen new, and two veteran, two veteran people that have been there before, have already signed up. So yeah, I think you mentioned that on the uh, the monthly call. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm just sorry for the the uh, organization because uh, I'm I'm actually coming back this year, um, so he gets to come again one more time this yeah. year. Yeah, well, kinda. It's more like it's more like blue balls because I'm not coming through as a student. You know, so. I get I get worked on a little bit, excited, and it's like, yeah, whatever. Go back to your hotel room. Dave, uh, how did you feel about Andy's 50 caliber wound? <laughs> That was such an incredible story. He got you a just didn't ex- You just didn't expect that wound to have lima bean skins hanging off of it. <laughs> no. No. And some toilet paper hanging out from the last time. No. Yeah. Uh, we call that a homeless uh, oh, so, so, so he's finally using toilet paper again. Nice. <laughs> nice. I can start shaking his hand again when I see him. Well, my roommate ran out of socks. Poor chaps. <laughs> no, I, I, I've uh, mentioned it several, several times that that was one of the best, one of the best times I've had in my life, hands down. Um, just being able to get there and, and put your guard down and, and learn something new and, and not, you know. Hang out with a bunch of men. Hang out with a bunch of fucking idiots, basically. Showing them your asshole. Yeah, yeah, totally. 
hoping for a surprise. There, there was maybe Around a bunch of balls and big bats. <laughs> yeah, and sacks everywhere. <laughs> yeah, we had um, where you? We had twenty-eight out there, twenty-eight uh, students out there last year. Twenty-four, twenty-eight students. <clears throat> yeah, some some around in there. It's, uh, the pictures right there up on the wall. I know you can't see it, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, about that many. Yeah. And I've been associated with it since 2015, so that was my first year. So it's, it's really and, cool. And I first went, I thought, you know, let me go out here. Let me teach some of these guys. My dad's a veteran, so, you know, I want to give back. He, he's 30, 30 years in the Navy, um, so l let me give back. And, and I thought, you know what, I've taught at umpire camps before. No big deal. Just go out and teach them how to umpire. Boy, was I in for a surprise. <laughs> they teach me a lot more than I teach them. I can tell you that. I mean, I, I, I'll teach you the umpire, but, but you know, these veterans, they've been through a lot and um, teach me a lot about just life in general. And, and I can't thank them enough for what they do. Well, we, we can't thank you enough, man, because without folks like you, we wouldn't have, you know, Craig and... Melanie, we wouldn't have an option. Every great speak. organization needs a secretary. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's fucking right. You go, sunshine. I'm the only <laughs> one that knows how to read and write. So they, Mr. They Wiggins. Like <laughs> Mr. Wiggins. <laughs> the only one that knows how to read and write. So. Did you say your dad did 30 years in the Navy? Yes. Oh, what a pussy. Andy did 31. <laughs> yep he uh he was a mustang he um he started as an enlisted then went back and he was a cougar and got, uh, <laughs> still is got his commission somebody get my stethoscope Uzi. interesting my dad was a um he was in the navy way back when the uh, the navy did the hurricane hunting so oh wow that he was a long time flew up in the uh what is it the c-130s flew into the eye of the hurricanes and um yeah he was the navigator on those c-130s uh, and i'm uh, just kidding i didn't mean to shit yeah. on your dad i just thought it was funny yeah, too. yeah you're right fuck him <laughs> <laughs> and then he went into of all things uh he, he he talks about you know the goddamn carter administration is when i had to get out they, they cut me, and then uh, he went into the reserves, and then the goddamn Clinton administration, <laughs> he was forced to, to resign then, so uh, retire. So before he retired, he went into, of all things, uh, naval intelligence. Mm. Yeah. There's an oxymoron. <laughs> I was just going to say, isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> there we go. Contradiction. Fucking in guy in Kentucky and a guy from New York <laughs> saying it's an oxymoron. No, 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 hold on, motherfucker. I'm not from Kentucky. I'm from Nashville. Get it straight. <laughs> You're from where? You live in Kentucky, Steezo? I right now until Tuesday. Um, I was born in Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> until oh, Tuesday. I was <laughs> raised in Milwaukee, though. Actually, Nashville. That's where I went to college. Went to high school. Nice. Uh, wait. The Music City, baby. Hell yeah. I'll sleep so much better tonight knowing that. Anyway. <laughs> so Carter was a fucktard, clearly. So was Clinton. Was your dad, uh, I'm assuming, uh, Republican? That is a definite yes. Is uh, is he still with us or is he? He passed? is. Yes. Oh, that's good. So he's still voting Republican then. See, my Without dad passed three years ago and, you know, lifelong Republican and fuck, he found out we voted three times for the fucking Democrats after he passed. Craziest yeah. thing. I, I went to visit his grave. There was three I voted stickers on it. What the fuck? <laughs> Without a doubt. He'll just go down the line. Republican, 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 Republican. I had, I had well. somebody uh, text me a couple weeks ago. I told these guys about it, and it was the Democratic National Party asking if they could count on my vote. I said, no, you you, you don't have mine, but uh, you, you probably already have my dad's. He died fucking three years ago, and I sent it back. And and uh, she sent a response, basically saying, "Well, thank you for your support, you dumb." Bitch. It's just an auto response. It's an <laughs> auto bot. I felt better in my mind saying it was a woman. All right, back off me. I already know it's a bot. Sorry. Man, take all the fun out of everything. Well, 
When it's it's almost like you're really my stepdad or something. Not yet. Oh, well, yeah. Can't yeah. tell me what to do. Working on things. <laughs> what else you got for me, Doc? Oh, that's about it. Thanks for coming on the show, and we'll talk. Yeah, to you. absolutely. <laughs> Cheers. See you. What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you? What are you sipping on there, Dave? Doc, go ahead. Fireball, fireball, and who knows what else could be, but it's, I guarantee there's fireball in it. Absolutely. That is my drink of choice. Fireball? Fireball. A little cinnamon whiskey. Love it. Love he, it, love it. He yep. made this uh, one concoction during camp. I don't know what you put in it, but it was apple pie, I think. Yeah, it was uh, oh. It was fireball with apple crown. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. delicious. Yeah. Almost made me one to, on that. Almost made me one to fucking do a belly flop off that wagon. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you were saying roof. <laughs> roof, wagon, whatever. Had a good run either way. <laughs> I haven't spent all my money yet. I gotta have some more time. Speaking of my dad, this was his little league catcher's mitt. Oh wow! Hanging on my wall. Yep. Looks like a couple of uh, gynecological from, exams I've done in the past. He bought me. it from Macy's in New York. Oh, shit. Yep. This is my uncle's glove that he pitched with in the minor leagues in the 40s and 50s. So, wow. Yeah. I got a little collection here. That's cool. It's all good. Yep. What about the bats? What are the, the bats? They're all just about? old bats that people have cracked and I think I'm, I'm a sucker for wood bats. So. I, I've had a couple of them. That's why they're called divorcees, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Little old crack bats. Oh, good one. Hey, we you got one there. of those. Oh no, you didn't. Oh yeah. Is she home? No. Um <laughs> that's what cracked I'm bat that I divorced. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were getting brave for a second with oh, that no. Oh, you know, Ashley, no. That's why I was laughing. I was glad. But just she the is, best night for you to come on the show honestly. because I want to see you get housed live on uh, Facebook. I mean, so you uh, did the Wounded Warrior thing. What do, what do you – I know the stories are fun, but what what is the best part for you that you get out of teaching at the Empire Academy? I hate leaving. Yeah, that sucks. The end of the, the 10 days, it just sucks to drive home. Uh, it's a long week, and it's a grueling week, and we have a lot of fun, and we don't get a lot of sleep. And But <laughs> it's um, uh, there's a lot of things that I, that I get out of it. I, I love seeing folks progress in the profession where they come in knowing absolutely nothing. I mean, we've had folks that come in that didn't know that three strikes were an out and four balls were a walk. <laughs> and and to see them progress, um, we've got... Four, four balls are a treat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually went and watched um, my son play. Uh, he plays at Barton College over in Wilson, a little Division two school. And of all people, K Buck was umpiring the baseball game. Get out of here. So yeah, it was kind of cool to see K Buck. He was in our first class and and he's progressed to the college ranks. Um and he's uh, a super cool dude. He is. Jazz jazz uh, saxophonist as well. Um Tom Bueno's working working in, in college baseball. We've had four folks now to go to pro school. Um <laughs> Doc, you may be able to speak speak to this more than anything. It's kind of a bug, and when it bites you, you kind of get hooked, don't you? It's it's true because uh, our our mutual friend Matt, yep, who talked me into uh, going. I had no desire to fuck these guys. Okay, no desire to go. Um, um, what? No. Why do I want to do that? That. You know, I don't even watch baseball on TV. Really, you know, whatever. I played when I was a kid, but. Ten, why? Ten days running? Nah, screw that. I'm retired now. And he talked me into it. And best time. Oh my god, it's just the camaraderie. Um, you're you're definitely drinking from a fire hose for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, 
it's there's there's really no downtime. The downtime you get is the short time for meals, and then the short time you get for sleep, and then it's right back to it. Saying that, uh, so I can preface by by saying this: it was you didn't care about it. It, it didn't seem uh, so grueling, even though it really was. But you were just having such a good time. Uh, you know, there wasn't, the instructors weren't like, you know, I'm the instructor, you're fucking shit. No, it was, you know, everybody had been there and done that. And it was just, uh, put your guard down, learn something. And I, yeah, I got bit, man. So I've got 14 games scheduled next month already. Starting the season off here at the uh, junior varsity level. So who knows, maybe I'll be doing JUCO by the end of the and, year. Hey. And a year ago, you didn't know shit about umpiring. Sure didn't. I mean, really. And and that just uh, makes me proud to, to see guys like you uh, progress and and get bit by the bug and go on and, and uh, just go have fun. You don't do it for the money. You just do it for fun. No. Yeah, I mean, if you did it for the money, you're in it for the wrong reason. That's right. But it's you just a... go out and, and uh, it gives a lot of folks purpose. Uh, they look forward to opening day. I get to yeah. go umpire. I don't have to. I get to. So you hear all the time too that there's such a shortage of officials through all the sports. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's it's I, it's our way of giving back, you know. Sure. I read the other day that since 2019, there have been 50,000 officials that have retired or quit. Wow. Without us. It's just recess. It's just recess. So, I'm okay with that. I like playing in the mud. Yeah. You like playing on the monkey bars and hanging upside down like Wayne's World. You know, when you when you climb the pole. Wait a minute. Keep going. <laughs> I'm almost there. Keep going. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. That's one of the things I just really enjoy about is, is seeing guys – progressing in the in the avocation um work their way up i love getting calls from guys that say hey i worked my first game today or hey i had a situation what would you do or uh and being a mentor to, to some of these folks um love meeting them staying in touch with them uh i think we have a, a, about 125 now that have gone through hmm. uh, so so, I'm not sure how many are still umpiring, uh, but I'd say well over half. So if you get selected and you get the chance to go, you, you're not you're not spending any of your money. No, they pay for everything: um, your room, your flight, your meals, uh, your gear, all your gear for free. Your uniforms. It's uh, it's it's amazing, man, and and. Um, like you said, I was bit hard by that bug, and I'm, I'm excited to start, you know, calling some some strikes and balls this, uh, this I season. I mean, when it, when it comes down to it, um, we probably spend about f- 10 grand. A, well, maybe not that much. It could be 10 grand a person when we talk about a hotel room, when we talk about all the equipment. When we talk about getting them there, uh, feeding them, entertaining them, <laughs> um, <laughs> the equipment alone is is about uh, fifteen hundred to two grand. That wow. I know I've shelled out a bunch in my lifetime on just equipment, and we're talking about plate shoes, base shoes, uniforms, chest protector. Uh, we even give you a cup for that little little one of yours so i got a rubber band and a peanut shell yeah wow it's 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 pretty cool so you Um, still got room left over yeah we have to we have to thank uh umpatire.com is our major one of our major sponsors who donates every piece of equipment that an umpire will need to get started and jim's a pretty cool dude he is a, a great great guy he can put um, up with me. He's, he's got to be all right. And then the Simper Fund, Simper Fund, America's Fund, that 
pays for a lot of folks. You have to qualify, uh, but pays for a lot of folks to uh, to travel. So, so I think it's um, out with hotel rooms and uh, flights. So, and I don't know what the qualifications are. That's above my pay grade. So I, I believe it's you have to be seven. You have to be at least seventy five percent disability rating with PTSD. It can't be total. It's got to be 75 or higher for PTSD alone to qualify what? for Super 5 fund. That counts you in, doesn't it? I think I'm sitting at like 700% for all I mean, if, there, yeah. if, if you actually did math, the VA math, the way it's supposed to be done, yeah, probably about 700%, but I'm only at 100% according to VA. But I'm good with that. I'm not complaining because right. right. I am pretty fucked up. But uh, no, thank God for I Matt. Man. Yeah, shut up. Uh, thank God for Matt for telling me about this shit and basically talking me into going. Because again, like I said, no desire to ever do anything like that. I had, I had coached judo and jujitsu for years, and I I had uh, basically refereed the tournaments, and I was like, I've been there, done that, you know. But getting there totally changed my mind. So what's it like having a uh, 75, 80 mile an hour fastball headed right at your face? Oh, it's nothing. I'm used to balls coming at my face. Gee, gee, gee. Gee, gee. How's the yep. corman forever? What do you want? A pecker checker. Penis so machine. So did you and Matt meet? Was he a helicopter pilot for your your? No, oddly enough, we we met here through Stizo. Oh. How did you what meet did Matt? I didn't know Matt was involved in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, through JTF, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's right. So those guys must have bit or somebody came across them somehow. Yeah, it's a weird fucking Kevin Bacon kind of thing, you know what I mean? Seven degrees. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I, Kevin Bacon's a person, Vinny. I'm not talking about food. I'm down. Now I want fucking bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I, I, I think if you don't like bacon, you're un-American. I agree. Everything goes with bacon. Even Canadians. Well, that's Canadian ham. bacon. That's ham. But, um, that's actually oh, cured wait, pork oh, loin. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? It's ham. No, don't tell me that. I have some in my freezer that I made. I've been taking people from across the border and eating them with bacon. That was Canadian bacon. Canadian bacon. Yeah. So you're telling me it's fucking ham. It's pork loin, yeah. What the fuck, man? It's cured. Hey, are we still alive? Uh, I didn't hit the out. Yeah. Yep, we're still alive. Ah, great. Well, I'll see you guys in about 15, 20. <laughs> <laughs> so what does Dave like to do when he's not umpiring? Oh, boy. Well, I have Let a little get place. My up... bell. <laughs> yes, I have a little place up at uh, Smith Mountain Lake and a boat that I love to go fishing um, and golf. I'm a golfer. Um, that's, golfer. That's kind of a golfer. But if we shoot the golfers, isn't that illegal? <laughs> we'll go to jail. Great, great. And I did shoot 79 uh, Friday. So, my my uh, golf three course, seventy nine what? Seventy nine on eighteen holes. Oh, yeah. Par three, pitch putt. No, 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 real course. <laughs> it's putt. first round of the year, or second round of the year. Damn. Let me so, tell you about golf and I. Yeah, please, no, I think uh, Vinny had a story that he was going to tell. Oh, that's right, he was going to tell us a story. But he forgot about it fucking five minutes after he said he was going to tell us a story. Well, it's completely out of context of what we're talking about. But... Perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, it's right in with the mantra of this fucking show. Benny, you got CRS? Oh, yes. Care for yeah. shit. Right. So when you get older, it'll develop into craft. That's right. Can't remember not the blue, fucking thing. Not yeah. the blue box, box shit. So uh, I get home the other day. I can't remember what day it was. It was perfect. Matter. I love the way I like yeah. the way the story starts already. And I, 
I get this wild hair up my ass that I want to rearrange my bedroom. <laughs> so I move some shit around. I rearrange. I'm cleaning and stuff like that. And for some reason, it was like 10, 10, 30. I'm at 11. I don't even know. I'm texting a buddy. Do you afraid of? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm in the shed. Why don't, you, why don't you come through the woods? Come through the woods. <laughs> come hang out in the shed. So I go through the woods to true. hang out in the shed. True. The and true. I, I get through the fog in the shed. I couldn't find him at first. And uh, hit my own little medication pen here. Had a good time. Good time. Long, uh, nice pot talk. <laughs> All kinds of craziness. I go home. Go upstairs. First room I hit was my bedroom. I thought I was in the wrong fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Vinny is very, I will say, uh, new to the recreational marijuana uh, uh, pandemic that's been going on in America during this pandemic. Um, I, can, I can hear it now. Herb the bear is back. <laughs> so I can totally understand where you, would, where you would be like, where, like, you, like a mo, like your your sphincter puckered for a second, like, oh my god, how am I in the wrong house? How am I in the wrong house? And how come their dogs look so much like mine? Right. <laughs> okay, so I'll tell you a story, uh, a, a a a similar story. Get all fucked up before me and my buddy Dan used to have uh, season tickets to the Brewer games. Uh, so we whatever we go to a game and we, we we always get fucking raging stoned before we go into the game. Uh, so we go in. I'm like, all right, I gotta pee real quick. And I'm just like, all right, cool. He's like, I'll get some beers. We'll meet back here. Cool. So I go in the bathroom and I'm and I walk in and I'm not thinking anything. I'm just uh, and I walk in and I go in the stall and I and I'm peeing and I'm like halfway through my pee. I'm like. There are no urinals in here. These are all stalls. <laughs> Every one of these is a fucking stall. And there's, and there's a big couch. Right. But, and a tampon but box right next to it. <laughs> but there's nobody in there. This is just a sports, uh, a sports stadium fucking bathroom. Halfway through, I'm like, it finally hit me. Like, oh, these are all stalls. <laughs> So uh, I finished. I, no, I fi no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. I finished my thing and I walked out and I just did the old shrug thing. There was like three girls and I was like, uh, yeah, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Sorry. Five hundred bucks and a night in jail later, and <laughs> it was a no, fun story. No, no. no. But oh, I, I haven't. I haven't. Did you leave the seat up? up? Do what? Oh, you should have flipped all the seats up. <laughs> That's right. That'd have been <laughs> No, I for sure got arrested then. <laughs> I've had a dip since Sunday. When I saw you put that in. I was actually doing pretty good, and now I'm fucking Jones. Nobody likes a quitter. I was gonna say, and and, and right. I've known Andy long enough to he's he's started way more times than he's ever quit. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you that right now. Just, can you just record. stop fucking stopping? Can listen, you just live listen, your life listen, the way you want to live? I love record. cigarettes. That's where I get my fucking vitamin C uh, from. They're delicious. I love them. I, <laughs> I didn't quit. I just haven't been to the store. Remember, I told you, I got fucking Connie and I got food poison. So I was fucking out of commission for fucking 48 hours. Fair enough. How are you sick and, not have a, and don't have a dip? I ran out, is what I'm telling you. Well, get so, your ass up out to the store. Well, so all Dave. Right. Hey, that, I bet I bet you you could do Uber Eats for that. Well, you probably could, but I'm not paying 15 bucks for a four fucking dollar can of cheese. Dash. So Dave, Andy got quarantined uh, early <laughs> in COVID because he uh, he might have been exposed. So he was quarantined down in the office, <laughs> and his his wife wouldn't go out and get him dip. So I got him a roll or whatever you call log. it. It's a log. Log, <laughs> log. Yeah. I pack it up for him, and I print a picture out of the biggest cock I could find on the <laughs> <laughs> biggest cock I could find on my hard drive, <laughs> and I placed it right Note on Note that top. it wasn't a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely not a selfie. And uh, look, in fact, it looks like one of them fucking look like one of them bats you have hanging out there. And I put it right on top. <laughs> 
Well, this fucking genius opens the box within three feet of his kids. <laughs> has oh. to slam it back shut as fast as he could. Hey, man. I remember that. They'll, they'll fucking find out about the world soon enough. I needed my fucking dip. The scariest thing is I was giggling like a fucking five-year-old the whole time. <laughs> I was the, whole th- the whole three days I was waiting for Felix to drop that fucking box in the door. <laughs> just, he's just tracking it, tracking it. Oh, <laughs> out for delivery. It's, 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 it's out for delivery. <laughs> it's been it's delivered. Just, did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? <laughs> no, dick, I haven't. <laughs> if only I'd have known. Oh, it's coming. Oh, was it? <laughs> I wasn't the only one. <laughs> what? <laughs> I oh, wait. Yep. There we go. All right, hold it down, boys. I got to pee. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you, since they put that screen door on his vagina, his bladder's <laughs> small. <laughs> yeah, but he's going to be rich here that now. Through us. He's going to be on that uh, class action suit. I fucking almost shit myself this weekend. We were in Jefferson City, Missouri. Just went down Just went down there to go see the Capitol, and we wanted to do the prison tour, but the prison was closed until March 1st, so story of my life anyway um we're sitting in the hotel room and the fucking had the tv on and this commercial came on for fucking vaginal mass surgery and i just about shit myself man <laughs> all i could see is fucking steve you know how they do those testimonials <laughs> i had my vaginal mass and brown and group and got me 4.5 million dollars <laughs> oh god <laughs> but uh here in in all seriousness, I I had a fucking moment where my I also kind of puckered a little bit. We were in the uh, we were in the Capitol building and uh, walk around. They had these different displays, and and Alma starts sniffing all over the place, which is normal because wherever we go, she works. And then she started sniffing and more intently on one area, and then she sat down and looked at me. <laughs> Bomb you know, sniffing uh-oh. dog. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> now, I, bro. I, I was just like, man, I don't know what the fuck happened with that, but uh, hope we don't see it on the news in about a half hour. <laughs> yeah. My uh, uh, my son sent me a video of his game on Saturday. Mm-hmm. You know, they stream the game so parents or whatever can watch them. And in the middle of the game, we hear, pow, 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 pow. I'll send it Jesus. to you. Everybody's looking around, and they're going, yeah, evidently, um, uh, yeah, somebody fired off some shots during the game. I'll send it to you here. That's so, retarded, man. Ooh, yeah. Retarded. Yep. Too bad, you can't, too bad you couldn't identify and shoot back, you know. That's, what? My buddy's, my buddy's daughter just got shot. They were in a, uh, <clears throat> a, a college party. If somebody was causing trouble, got into a fight, they threw the guy out. He came back with another guy. They found 25 rounds they put through the house. Jesus. She got caught through and through. Flesh didn't in and out of the hospital in two hours. But I think there were bullet holes in her bed. If she was laying down, she might have been a lot worse off. What? The they fuck? catch the motherfucker? I told you about that, right, Steve? Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I saw the post. Did they catch him? Not as of yet. What? So they know who the guy is, right? They believe they know he's... who the guy is. A lot of people aren't talking, but they also have him on video. Oh, so he's, he's, he's on the run? I guess. Yeah. If he's smart. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not, Clearly he's I'm, not. not, I'm not a fan of his, but I'm just saying if he has any intelligence, he is. Yeah, clearly so he's she's just... okay then. She's fine. Uh, sure. Physically, I'm sure mentally it's taken a toll. But uh, no, she was probably in and out of the hospital in a couple hours. Wow. Huh. It was just through and through. self cauterizing wound. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Need Terminator over here? I mean, doesn't hot lead typically cauterize as it goes through you? No, it destroys shit. <laughs> There's this thing called cavitation, you see. Really bad. Really bad. She's lucky, though. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. 
They, was, do they know the caliber? Uh, Dave wasn't sure, but then he literally found a bullet, a projectile in her room. It was 9mm. Oh. Uh, Brian Spencer is in the room. He says, good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Mr. Spencer. Mr. Spencer for state. Hola. Spencer for hire. <laughs> well, politicians, yeah, he's pretty much for hire. You got nothing. Okay. Is that guy still alive? Who was that that played Spencer for hire? Uh, was it Robert Conrad? No. no. Yeah, that's Dizzo. Yep. That was uh, <clears throat> that was Pappy Boyington. Oh, that's right. Uh, it was that one guy. Yeah. Robert Urich. That's, yes, that's, that's nice, the man. one. And is he alive? He just he's heard me. Uh, let me go back. Uh, do doop do do doop doop doop. Uh, still alive. Uh, yeah, <laughs> still alive. Wow. No, no, I'm sorry. Died April sixteenth, two thousand two. Oh wow! So uh, Marky Mark and the Funky years. Bunch. Twenty twenty something years. Twenty, almost twenty one years. Yeah. Wow. Mark Wahlberg, he did Hope your a... balls and strikes are better than your fucking math skills. Shut your math. They are. What? Who? They are. Strike five. <laughs> <laughs> Touchdown. What? It sounded like a strike. <laughs> <laughs> so Marky Mark did a remake of that. Uh, Brian... Yep, yep. I saw that. I watched it. It, it was That's okay. Yeah, it's not bad. my be- It's not my favorite Marky Mark movie. Yeah. It's not what, which movie are we talking about? Spencer Confidential. Oh, never even heard of it. Uh, it's got, uh, what's that fucking Netflix. dude with the tattoos on his face? It looks like he constantly needs a shower. Uh, oh, uh, some uh, Danny Trejo? No, fuck. <laughs> the rapper. Uh, uh, yeah, the rapper. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, white guy, white rapper. Post Malone. Post Malone. Yeah, Post Malone. God, damn, I just watched it. If you ever get bored, and, like, I'm sure you're, whatever. Uh, so, uh, like a year ago, Post Malone was on Joe Rogan's podcast. It's a three-hour podcast. Oh, they yeah. are both tripping balls on mushrooms. <laughs> it is it's one of hilarious. the funniest fucking it. things you'll ever watch in your life. Yes, but it watch is. it. If, if you have to listen to it, listen to it. But if you can watch it on YouTube, watch it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. They get into so, some deep shit in there, too. Oh, yeah. Well, neither one of them are stupid. No, no, fuck no. no. I I don't no. think any uh, uh, I don't think any musician is stupid. You have to be so talented to fucking make all that shit happen. Like I'm so envious of fucking any musician. Like I've always wanted to play the drums, and people always like like uh, if you know people in bands or whatever, like. Uh, everyone always makes fun of the drummer. Like uh, he's, you got to be special to be a drummer. <laughs> Uh, but it's Uh-oh. so fucking methodical, and it, it, I think it's deeper than that. I, I want to play the drums so bad. So who's All your, McCann. Uh, who's All McCann. your favorite drummer? Uh, I don't really have like I'm not into like I'm not into drums. I just like songs with drums. I'd like to play the drums. I don't worship drummers. Uh, but I think one of uh, one of my favorite videos is uh, when. Uh, Sully and Shannon from Godsmack do the uh, their battle uh, drum battle back and forth. It's on the okay. uh, their DVD. Um, fuck, forget the name of the. I DVD. think I've seen the Saturday Night Live version. <laughs> no, no, you haven't. That's that's more cowbell. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, who's the guy who played in Talladega oh. Nights? Yeah, uh, Will Farrell. <clears throat> Will Farrell did a drum off with one of them. Oh, that was with uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, was it uh, uh, not someone? Jimmy whoever the drummer is that they say he looks like. Drum, that's who it was. There's uh, a drummer okay. out there that looks like Will Ferrell. That was on the Tonight Show, I believe. Is he Blink One Eighty Two? Oh, maybe or? that was it. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of them fucking guys that plays with sticks. I think the best drummer of all time is the, is the guy from Rush, Neil, Neil Peart. Just passed out. away. Uh, a year ago, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Chad Smith, Red Hot. Oh, Will Ferrell, right. Chad Smith. That's who he looks that's like. That's right. Yeah. One of them and fucking. Then, uh, ones. The guy from uh, Foo Fighters is pretty good too. He beats the crap out of them. 
I, I don't anyway, I'm reading anybody. Dave Grohl's book right now. Yeah? Oh, I'm surprised he can, he can read. I can't right? read, actually. Yeah. I'm surprised he can write. Is it in crayon or what? You're an, um, you're an umpire. How thick are your glasses when you read? <laughs> <laughs> I do have to wear readers. You guys said I was old. Yep. But it's a pretty interesting, uh, interesting book about uh, just his experiences. He talks about getting high all the time and, and traveling the road and it's, uh, how he got oh. started. So oh. he was the um, he was the drummer for Nirvana. Yeah, I actually like him. Foo Fighters. Yeah, uh, I think he's a pretty cool dude. There's a guy. I think he was a uh... Dave. Oh, j just for future reference, Dave. Like when you're talking to people, like never reference that. Like you, everyone knows Dave Grohl used to be the drummer for fucking Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you, you're not dropping. You're not, you're not like you're not breaking ground there. Like you don't have to tell people that. Like <laughs> it makes people's assholes cringe. <laughs> like oh, did he just say that? I'm Dave, just saying. Poor Dave, Dave Navarro. Is that he? He he used to play for who? Nine Inch Nails or? Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. I, I, that dude, he, he was on the tattoo shows and stuff. Sometimes get those two mixed up, but I, I don't really care for that dude. But Dave Grohl seems like a pretty cool dude. Um, we should get him on the show. Totally. Hey, have our people reach out to his people. Okay. Yeah. Get a hold of HR. <laughs> uh, do, 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 Sound do, like a do, WWUA do, do, meeting? <laughs> you need to... Uh, you need to look up Go on YouTube and look up uh, Studio 666 uh, movie okay. previews. That's Dave Grohl. There, there's like a whole bunch of famous people in there, but it's kind of like a spoof movie. Oh, but okay. it, and it starts this fucking Friday. I cannot wait to fucking go see it. Studio 666. Yep, Studio 666. First, first one. I have to write that down because I have CRS. Yeah. Um, or early stages of dementia, whatever. <laughs> tomato, <Yeah>. tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Took a few more, few too many fastballs to the cranium. And then when he was actually on the field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. So after you know, the like, show's over, go watch the trailer for that. It's fucking awesome. So is that's at the theaters. You can't like it's not streaming anywhere. Uh, He's not a, I don't no, no. It, the first weekend it'll be out on uh, all that shit would be a fucking handheld in a fucking <laughs> in, right. in, in a fucking theater. You don't want to watch. I'm that. okay with that, man. No, just, uh, fuck that. I'd rather I go. Like I'll people. pay them. I'll wait till next weekend. And go see it. Okay. Fuck Eat a gummy or two. <laughs> go watch it. Be like, yeah. What? Gummy or two. Sneak those gummies in. Yeah, he's gonna bring a whole bag in. Everybody ain't it's, got it's, shit on me, son. It's great because where I live now in Kentucky, it's an hour from the dispensary. When I move back to Milwaukee, it's an hour from the dispensary. Both in <laughs> Illinois. What? <laughs> where do you live in Kentucky, Steezo? Uh, Western Kentucky. I'm like an hour and a half directly north of Nashville. In between Nashville and Evansville, Indiana. Uh, is that like Bowling Green? Uh, I'm probably an hour east of Bowling Green and an hour west of uh, Owensboro. So what's the town? Uh, Madisonville is the closest one to me. My big city is Madisonville. You got to be they shitting got, me. They no. got a Piggly Wiggly. My no. dad is from Madisonville. Grew Are up you? there. No shit. I went to, uh, I went to school in um, Erlington. Okay. Holy fuck. This is weird. And, uh, this is and, weird. And Madisonville. I lived wow. in Madisonville two years. Wow. Yeah. How many cousins have you fucked? None. No? Oh, no. All of them. My, uh, my, uncle, my cousin used to be the mayor of Madisonville. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, so we don't want to ruin his political career. <laughs> yeah. He's a Democrat. I don't give a shit. Oh, fuck him. Man. Oh, yeah, so was he good? Did he push no. back? No. He got a green mouth? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Madisonville. So what, what town right there? Uh, so I'm in Providence. Okay. Yep. And yep my to grandfather you? had a farm there in uh, in Madisonville that, that I grew up on. Used to, huh. yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It's all, making, it's all making sense now. Yeah. Yeah. 
Rob Blank changed a bit, has it? Uh, no, yeah, Madisonville's changed. Uh, Madisonville's uh, changed uh, ten fucking fold since I've been here. It's changed ten fold. I've lived here ten years. Madisonville oh. is fucking. It's a metropolis now. No way. Oh yeah. I haven't been since probably my grandmother's funeral. Early, uh, late nineties. Eighteen nineties. Yeah. Okay, so I moved here in two thousand and nine, two thousand ten, I think. So, yeah, it, it's. Pfft. Yeah, it's fucking it's it's a metropolis, man. So, they've got, they've got the a hell, Walmart. That's where Walmart is, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they got a fucking super center. <laughs> Whoa, they got four car seat. washes and a McDonald's. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it it's huge. That's where it that's where yeah. Out, aside from going uh, an hour north to Evansville, Indiana or Henderson, Kentucky. Uh, which yeah. is like just over the bridge, um, yeah. Madisonville's the the biggest one to me, closest to me. Yeah. It's, I'm I'm 17 miles north of Madisonville. That's coal country. Oh, uh, I build coal mining equipment yeah. right now. It's, out, it's well, like almost up the until exact four o'clock tomorrow state, afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow! So what brought you to? No, like, yeah, same, th- th- same thing that's making me leave. <laughs> let's not get in. <laughs> let, let that sleeping dog lie on me. <laughs> it's amazing what a piece of pink away make a man do, isn't it? <laughs> now, Steezo lives a more sophisticated life. He's very into Swedish food these days. <laughs> Well, this, in his defense, the Swedish food is much easier on the mesh. It <laughs> is. It is. It really helps the mesh. Oh, dicks. Wow. Oh, Sorry to bring up such a sore subject. There. No, no. No, it's good. It, it, no, it, it, no. It, it's not a short subject at all. <laughs> I'm just looking to get through it. <laughs> Literally. Uh, so, uh... <clears throat> Talk about professional umpiring. <laughs> yeah, get, How hard is that? It, it freaking like, they take, uh, I just, I guess the reason I'm asking, take me, right? There's literally no fucking way I'd ever make it to the major leagues. No, you're too fucking short. And old. And old. And blind. I suck. But uh, I mean, but no, but, but, but you have you, you have the body type. I mean, you have the body type. Now, you got the, that. Uh, the road to to becoming a major league umpire is is very long. Uh, the <laughs> first step is to go to professional umpire school and graduate in the top of your class, top twenty five guys, possibly. Then you go to what's called. Um, umpire development school which is kind of an advanced course and they'll take the top ones out of that out of that course and they'll assign them to uh, a minor uh, a rookie league minor league single a and then you just work your way up season after season and um (laughs) they'll they'll be and the thing about being a major league umpire is that Maybe three, four jobs come available every year. Once you get to AAA, uh, there's some guys that what they call go up and down. That's not a sexual reference. Oh, I'm reference. sure they do. It's not a sexual <laughs> reference. No, yeah, uh, uh, yeah I didn't take it that way. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> they're assigned AAA. They're, they're AAA umpires. But when a, a, a major league umpire gets hurt or goes on vacation, they bring a guy up from the minor leagues and they, they umpire major league games. And, and that's kind of their training ground. A lot of those guys that have worked. So it's like the Catholic church. Get, get released. <laughs> Purgatory. Get released. It's a lot uh, like the Catholic then, church. Got it. Yeah. They're Are purgatory. you Catholic, by the way? Steve's Absolutely. Out? Hell yeah. I went to Christ the King. <laughs> Church in Madisonville. And oh, that, really? Uh, that's great. That's where Nobody I was cares. baptized and went to grade school there. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> yeah, Steve may have been raised Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely. Anyway, so no, I bring that up because you know I, I've 
you know, sang the praises of the organization and everything. And if somebody wants to go, I highly encourage them to go, but I don't want them to go with, with the, um, the delusion that you can graduate <laughs> fucking Wounded Warrior Empire Academy. You're ready for the big leagues. Oh, no. Plus, you're not even, those. And I will say that, that just because you got 10 weeks of training uh, or 10 days of training, excuse me, 10 days of training, doesn't even really mean you're ready for high school ball. It, it takes a long time to to get used to the way the game is played. I mean, how many games did you umpire at umpire school or, or at, at WWA? What? Three One. Or four? One. Because we got rained out that That's second right, day. we got rained out. And so it's a little different uh, – when we're in the cages and we're calling balls and strikes and we're throwing it really soft, it's a whole nother thing to see 90, 95 mile an hour fastballs and making a decision on whether it's a ball or a strike. Um, so these guys have been doing it for 10, 12, 15 years before they even get to the major league level. So they've seen, um, they work 150 games a year in the minor leagues. So they've seen 1,500 to 2,000 baseball games before they even make it to the major leagues. Oh. So um, it's it's not – even I – I mean, I work in the ACC. Even I, I couldn't go up and, and work in the major leagues. And I've been umpiring 30 years. But, but these guys work 150 to 200 games a year. I work 50. So it's uh, it's a whole nother level when you get up there. Well, yeah, you're too busy fucking golfing. <laughs> and those, and those prof- like, get your head on straight, Dave. I mean, what the fuck? Do you, what fishing. do you want to do with your life? You're 53 years old. What the fuck do you want? Do you want to umpire? Or you want to play golf? What the fuck? Yes, all of the above. I want my cake and eat it too. Ah. And fireball. And fireball. Those professional umpire schools and classes must be chaotic with all those seeing eye dogs in the same place. <laughs> You'd be yeah, surprised how well they get along. I have to clean up a lot of shit. Yep. <laughs> Hold on. Linda yeah, Lopez so is in the room. Uh, it's a, what? Linda it's Lopez a in the room. Get, get no, go it. ahead. It's your show, Dave. <laughs> it's a process to get there. And and there are a lot of guys that get released in single A, double A, triple A. And so those are the guys that come back to the, the college level and are really dang good umpires at the college level. They've seen a lot of games. They've seen a lot of pitches. Did you just say dang good? This is a family show, buddy. Why don't you fucking button it up a little bit? (laughs) I'll be honest. I had, I wouldn't want to be a major league umpire. And they're on the road for six to nine months out of the year. Unless you live in a major league city, there's no home game for you. Not like the players. You're living out of a hotel in a suitcase for six, nine months. Out of the I'm year. used to that. But yeah. that's exactly so literally, why I wouldn't want to do it. Literally, you got to hate the game and not the player then, right? Right. That's what I always say. It's pretty deep, yeah. Let's see what you did there. It's impressive. Yeah. Anyway. Yep. Yeah, I, I think maybe junior college for me would be my uh, – Highest level that I would. Don't you attend. think it's a little late to go back to school, Andy? It's never too late, man. Uh, unless he's wife shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I said junior college, not elementary. Get it right. Junior college is a little bit too late. Oh, early. he upgraded. I've met his wife. He upgraded. <clears throat> but yeah, he didn't upgrade the shipping container. She came over and uh... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> send her flat rate. <laughs> Put a head of lettuce in there and a bottle of water. I was trying to give you a compliment, Andy, and these like, guys like fucked it all up. Like one of those, <laughs> and it was one of those gerbil bottles too. It only had one fucking quart of water on it. Hey, Amen. He's, he's, oh, at least he's still married. Oh, ow! That, that's not a zinger, sir. That doesn't <laughs> that doesn't hurt my feelings. You just made me smile even harder. I'm hold on, hold on, wait a second. I'm kind of filling up a bit. I'm getting a half a chub. His hernia belt's getting tight. That's right. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's not a that's not an insult on me. I I love it. I love the zinger, but that doesn't hurt me. It's <laughs> it, it's it's one of the greatest things that's ever happened here. It's like smoking cig- cigarettes are delicious. Divorce is great. You know it, why it, divorce just, is so expensive? Because it's, it's worth damn it. fucking worth every <laughs> penny. Worth it. Worth it. Right. Fucking air. Fucking a. Linda Lopez that. says, "Stop being so fucking cheap, Cezo, and go out." On a proper date, you Neanderthal. Where does that? What is that? Where does that, that come from? from? Were we talking? Probably her heart. I mean, I understand, but I, I've, I've been on. I, I, I've been on. I, 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 I went out on a date for my birthday last Friday. We went to the uh, the the Brazilian place in Milwaukee. I can't remember the name of it right now because it was shut the fuck somebody... up. IKEA does not serve Brazilian food. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't IKEA. I'm going. To, Ooh, I'm, I'm going there for lunch on Wednesday though. <laughs> so I can pick up my armoire. <laughs> your armoire. Lynn and says your... because you said you won't go to a movie. No, uh, I'm the one that I, said that. No, I didn't say that. I'll go to a movie. I said that. I have no problem going to a movie. I'm sneaking all the snacks in, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Six dollars for Juju Bees? Fuck you. Yeah, I usually like to bring in a whole kibasa. <laughs> I shove it down one pant leg. Yeah. <laughs> you said up your ass wrong. <laughs> You know, wow. you, you know how we uh, mustard on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord! Oh boy, you gotta love them kibbutz. All righty then. What's the matter, Dave? Are you feeling a little uncomfortable? No, not at all. I'm, I'm getting a, a fireball buzz though. Oh, excellent! Oh, well, fill that machine, motherfucker uh... up. We got 15 minutes to go, motherfucker. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> good. <clears throat> Lopez and I went on a uh, a uh, espresso martini kick over the weekend. Oh fuck! Oh, yeah. I, was gonna, I was hoping you were going to say heroin binge, but <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, we might be snowed in this weekend, so you never know. <laughs> well, I'm just looking out for you. You need to lose some weight, buddy. You know, heroin might do it for you. That. Heroin might be your gig. That. That yeah, but it's I, it's so hard at my size to get my. to find one of the veins in the scrotum. <laughs> well, first of all, it's hard to find a scrotum. I get it. <laughs> Linda says my breast size goes from thirty six C to thirty eight <laughs> triple D at the movies, candy and such. Had <laughs> 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 a girl. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Can so you when's your first me? game, Andy? Uh, March twenty first. Might still be a little chilly. Yeah, I, I bought one of them cool guy fucking jackets from uh, Jim. So they're warm. I hope so. Oh yeah, because it's. Yep. Uh, I'm going to Virginia Tech this weekend up in the mountains. Oh yeah, bringing everything that I own to put on. Yeah, it's uh, like the Michelin Man. I've been through there. It's, it's funny. Uh, Steve was taking a similar trip to him too. <laughs> Do what? Steve's was taking a similar trip soon too with everything he owns. <laughs> <laughs> well, not everything. Yeah, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> <clears throat> My house doesn't have so. wheels on it. <laughs> oh, damn. He took them off when he moved in. My God. Mm-hmm. What's that you used to tell me, Dave? Been to was it three goat? What? Oh yeah, I've been to two county fairs and three goat fuckings, and never seen anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the show, pretty much. Yeah, pretty weekly much. fucking basis. Yeah, you don't like it? Fucking don't tune in. I don't care. One of my favorites. We've had is, this discussion. One of my favorites is if you're bartering with somebody, be like, all right. I'll give you an already fucked chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, I was watching this. I was flipping through the channels earlier uh, on my free internet TV that gives me like 10. And uh, Vice channel was on there. And I see more and more of these fucking, not only Europeans, but Americans going over to fight for ISIS. 
And I'm like, man, I could fucking take care of this shit in a fucking week. Right? You dip all your armament in fucking pig's blood. Them motherfuckers ain't getting in the goddamn fucking paradise. And you smash about ten fucking mosques and you just squash them wherever they're fucking at. Guaranteed no more fucking problem. But we hurt too many people's feelings here for that. I mean... Do people really care how you feel? Uh, I, I, you I don't. Is he I don't. still here? Can we bounce him? Is there I, I, way we can bounce him? Who fucking invited this guy anyway? I, I don't. Okay, why don't you take one of them fucking bats in the back there, buddy? Never mind. Yeah, yeah. Was that a, anyway. a croquet paddle there behind you? Look, look I, I, I believe actually that's fucking pronounced Crockett. Crockett for paddle. Once, in like six years, I wrote down a topic, so I just fucking glanced down and saw it. So I figured I'd throw it out there. Okay. Fucking judge me. It's my show. I just want everybody to know, as of uh, 1020 Eastern Standard Time, shit in the Ukraine has started to blow up. Oh, it's popping off, huh? Yes. Oh, shit, son. All right. We're gonna, for your $5 we're gonna, gas we're gonna, prices. We're going to dive right back into fucking another goddamn war. Yeah. yeah. Imagine so, that. But Dave, Biden you... had strong talk. Oh, yeah. talk. the Those world will lot. hold Russia accountable. Yeah, they will. Actually, first he said the world will hold Canada accountable. <laughs> what? Oh, we're, we're talking will about hold Russia. Poland's account. account. <laughs> oh, Russia. The world will <laughs> hold Russia accountable. Wait a minute. Isn't that where Hunter, Hunter's been hiding out? Wait, wait a minute. Where's his laptop? No, you you have a uh, you probably don't watch the show, but um, and you're smarter for doing doing so. Uh, but I've I've said my prediction. One of my big predictions is the U.S. will never win another fucking major engagement unless it's on home home turf, home home soil, because our politicians just don't have the fucking nads to do what needs to be fucking done on home soil and against a domestic enemy. Yeah, well, that too, whatever. So that's just my prediction. I mean, you got Vietnam, you got Korea, you got twenty years in Afghanistan and Iraq. I don't know. Well, at least in Afghanistan and Iraq, we accomplished a lot. Don't start. Not a good topic for this guy. <laughs> but so that's what I'm saying. Dave's like, what the fuck did I get into right now? Just in this shit? Better to keep my mouth shut and think you guys and let you guys think I'm an idiot than open it up and prove it. I already know, man. We've had talks. <laughs> <laughs> I can look at you and tell you you're an idiot. I mean, I don't need you to talk. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> true. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, That's some funny shit, though. Fucking rough room, <laughs> right? <laughs> I just, just flew over Vegas. Boy, my arm's tired. <laughs> Take my wife, <laughs> please. <laughs> no respect. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he's great. Caddyshack came on the other day. I couldn't stop watching it. Was it on uh, cable TV? Like AMC or something? Uh, it probably was... sucked in, didn't it? Was it all that, edited up? And then it was followed by Stripes. Oh, <laughs> Stripes is a go-to. Stripes, stripes is always a go-to. That's a fact, up. Jack. <laughs> I watched that. The, uh, it's like going to Wisconsin. We zip in, we zip out. <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Lighten up, Francis. Line up, Francis. Yeah. And you, you. faggot, you. touch me. <laughs> I kill you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that was a great uh, movie when it came on HBO back when I was a kid. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, man. Fucking lot of spanking going on in that. <laughs> John Larroquette. <laughs> That's who you spank to, is John Larry Cat? <laughs> that's a weird thing to that's a weird thing to admit to on a podcast. But I mean, you do you, bro. Uh, no. no, you do you. I got it. I got you. I don't bitch. judge. I, man. I don't judge. Hey, we're, no judgment zone. Hey man, I'm no, that's uh, that's Planet Fitness. What's Planet? 
<laughs> Clearly, I I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I have never been, been there. I mean, Plus, I'm no in the judgment zone. I'm in the fitness. Fitness, motherfucker. <laughs> in my mouth. Them twelve ounce curls, man. <laughs> oh, you, you have to do the twelve ounce curls and the fucking stickies. You got to do the fucking the vitamin C's in the cigarettes, son. <laughs> <laughs> It's where they hide it. Is that a Lucy or what? I don't do Lucy's, no. No, no. no. That's, that's where it is. That's where they hide the real vitamin C is in the cigarettes. <laughs> Spoken like a true comic, folks. That's right. Dude, I'm just telling you what Alex Jones told me. Oh, right, right. Yeah, it's got to be true. Because um, he's, he's not nutty at all. I already feel better. Hit you that quick, did it? Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Watch that documentary if you haven't watched it. Pretty fucking good. The Rick James. Which one's that? The one on Rick James. Oh, no, I haven't seen that one. Uh, uh, Linda Rick Lopez. James, bitch. Linda Lopez in the room says, "Watching the show stuck. Oh boy, the things people get stuck in places." Uh. So I've uh, recently been introduced to this too and sent a video of one. There was a woman who got an eight-inch dildo <laughs> stuck in her ass. <laughs> Just <laughs> eight inches? Yeah. <laughs> Please have a hard time keeping one in. <laughs> I can understand why. You know, eight inches. Hey. This shit gets lost every now and then. But you put it in the wrong end first? <laughs> And the doctor is talking about it, and he's like, one of the things he suggested is, yeah, you should probably tie a string to it or a rope, you know? like <laughs> For next time. He, he breaks it down. He's like, you have an internal and external sphincter. He's like, the one on the outside is like the one that's like, like if you, the one on the outside, if you have like a, a diarrhea pain, you're like, ooh, I got to pinch this off. That's that one. But the one going in, like if it gets past a certain point it sucks it in and that sphincter nice, like nice. keeps it there hey what's the difference between jam and jelly <laughs> i can't jam ah. my dick in your face <laughs> <laughs> that woman didn't jelly that dildo up her ass <laughs> <laughs> i completely slaughtered your joke i'm sorry that's okay i'll and edit it in see post. It coming. <laughs> oh jesus christ <laughs> what do you say we wrap this shit show up Oh, okay, let me uh, yeah. you speak yeah, yeah, some more. Yeah. Dave, it's uh, thanks for coming on the show. I, I know we probably show shocked the shit out of you about fifteen different times, and uh, if you don't good. believe it, just go back and watch this later at your your expressions. Hilarious. But no, I yeah, appreciate I you, you coming on. Out all the bad words I said. No, that's too much work, man. We don't edit <laughs> shit. I don't get paid enough. I mean, hell, I haven't seen a check from HR in fucking years, so just whatever. They Benny, said, they said it's on the way. Yeah, I keep doing the mail. Shit. Man, trust Maybe you need to go up to the president or vice president. Go above HR's head. Yeah, I I, I just hired a Karen. We're going to fucking handle it. She's going to write a strongly worded letter for me right after she gets her bald and her little what you that bob cut whatever or uh, what was that uh eight kids and counting or whatever you know you know what i'm talking about oh uh, i haven't fucking... known what you're talking about Some... this whole fucking show so uh, you know <laughs> well, that, that's the dementia just write it out it's okay um anyway fuck it you know what i'm talking about alex and eight plus uh, alex and kate plus kate? eight or whatever yeah, it's that fucking dumb show yeah, that uh, and hate Karen should have been Karen. Anyway, let's kick this pig. Ready when you are, brother. Peace. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. You know what they say, Hey, what are they saying?